Hi, my name is Elias. I'm 32 years old. I'm from Lebanon. I've been in Dubai almost eight years. Uh, I work as an MC. My job is to make people happy as much as I can, to make them laugh, to see this beautiful smile on their faces. Uh, my family is made of five people. So it's me, my mother, my father, and my two brothers. The good thing about Lebanon is that you are around family. You are around people that you like, people that you love. You are people that support you. And I worked in restaurants. I worked uh, as a security guard. I worked even in a garage. <laughs> it was a fun experience. I tried everything. And when I started growing up, I couldn't stay there because I couldn't help them anymore. I couldn't give them the things that they really need. And this is why they, I decided, okay, it's time for me to take the risk, go somewhere else. Before coming to Dubai, I used to be a cabin crew. And then the last one year and a half, I felt Something inside of me is pushing me to do something more. And it was a big step for me to change my career because most of the people, they think, okay, I'm having this. Why should I change? What is the reason for me to change? Now I earn less, but I'm happier because it's not about money. It's about the, the doing the things that you love and then money will come eventually. Between all the things that I did, I learned a lot of things. Uh, it was a big school. But what is the most passionate one I ever had is what I'm doing now. Because now, it's me. When I applied for this job, actually, I never tried to do MC. When I tried, when I started it, it was very difficult for me. I had heartbeats. I was stressing up. I had cold hands. Imagine I was sweating. And I was looking at people coming in and me, I had this fear of public speaking. I knew I had this fear. But the thing is what, am I going to overcome it? Is this day going to happen? But now I'm here and I have to do it. Like there's no other solutions. And then I started pushing myself. It was a bit hard. But by the time I got used to it and become, I become very comfortable and I learned something that we all have this small fear. If you don't try to overcome it, you're always going to stay there. Honestly, I had the most beautiful childhood anyone can have. I have two brothers younger than me. I have very good memories. Thanks to my brothers, actually. I had so many experiences in my life, which I prayed a lot, which I believe, yes, God exists. My brother had an accident. I almost lost him. When I heard about the accident, I was cracked because my family is the most important people in my life. And if any harm touched them, I crack. And I try to be strong, but I crack. When I heard about the accident, I couldn't anymore and I started praying. So they took him to the hospital and they checked him up and they said there's nothing wrong with him. So they were sending him out of the hospital. They were just filling his papers out. And then one of the nurses out of nowhere, she came and she looked at him. She said, he looks pale. Something is wrong with him. Let's take him back again to test. Scanner, make scanner. And they found eternal bleeding. If my brother was out of the hospital at that moment, he would have died couple of hours. Who brought that nurse? Who? That's why I pray. That's why I believe in God. Even my mom, every day she texts me in the morning. If I open my WhatsApp now, you're gonna see messages from her asking me, are you hungry? <laughs> You know, the warmness when, when, when she's around. And for that, I'm graceful, really. I'm, I'm really graceful. Uh, her voice, 
her songs, uh, the, the words that she says, it motivates me. It, it, many times I wanted to surrender, but she was the reason I kept going and going every day. No matter what emotions you feel, or no matter how hard you think life is, there is a beauty about the journey. Always keep struggling, always keep going forward. Make it worthy for your grandsons to tell stories. Someday you're gonna have grandsons, you're gonna let them sit on your knees and you're gonna tell them stories. If you don't have any adventurous ones, start making them. <laughs>